It looks weird now, but it will look better when I edit it. People swim faster than that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I could do like, how about a you know coming up for air? Coming up for air. I could do that. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna edit this? How are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, that, that doesn't exactly look like it. I know, it doesn't really. Yeah. <laughs> when are you going to uh, Maybe it looks like I can surf. How about this? All right, I can, uh, it looks like I'm surfing. Here we go. And clearly the bad boy's off. <laughs> Did it come out again? Okay, enough, yeah, enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude, welcome to Yay Math Surfer Style. Yay Math? Yay Math! <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh, we got good. Today we're going to be talking about deductive reasoning. All right, so it's a little, some fun logical rules. We're going to go over two rules. Two rules, that's four. Okay, the first rule is demonstrated by these two statements, okay? Volunteer to read it off so we get it started. Yeah, please. If the heat wave continues, then more AC is used. If more AC is used, then energy costs higher. Right, right. Put it in a den there. Okay. So, looking at these two statements, is there a new conclusion that you can draw from these two statements? I see one hand. I see one and a half. Those are the best, dude. When you look like this, I like these. Thinking of that. <laughs> like, yeah, you want to give it a try? Yeah. Uh, if the heat wave continues, then energy costs higher. Right. That's the first rule. Is that a logical jump that you're comfortable with? It's okay if no. If the heat wave continues, then energy costs are higher. Is anyone familiar with the uh, transitive property in math? Yes? Yeah? If A equals B, then B, B equals C, C and then A equals C, it's that rule. All right? So the conclusion you can draw here, if a heat wave, then energy costs. And the important component, you guys, is that this part here, more AC used, is the same as here. See the link? More AC used ends, more AC used begins, so it connects the chain. All right? So in quizzes and tests, what you may see is that if the heat wave continues, then more AC used. If the heat wave continues, then something else, but that would not be this law because you don't have this link between the two. Okay? And this law is called the law of syllogism, law of syllogism, all right? So let's try one before we get into the math kind. Here we go. If I live in Los Angeles, then I live in California. If I live in California, then I live in the U.S. By the law of syllogism, I could say what? Yes? Uh, if you live in LA, in uh, Los Angeles, then you live in the US. In the US, yeah. If I live in LA, then I live in the US. That's right. Okay? And that works every time. Questions on law of syllogism? Okay. So, volunteer to read this guy? Please. If two angles are complementary, then they, then they sum to 90. Right. If angles sum to 90, then both angles are, I can't see what the word, acute. Acute, yeah. Both angles are 90, then they, then they are acute. So, law of syllogism would be what then? Uh, that if an angle is complementary. Two angles are complementary. Two angles are right? complementary, then they equal 90. Then, no, then they are acute. Right, right, right. Equal 90 is already established. Stand over here. Sum to 90 is already established. The second statement is already established. The new statement would be if two angles are complementary, then they are acute as well. And think about it. If two angles add up to 90 degrees, won't they both be acute? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 50 and 40, 16 and 30, for example. All right? And then, okay. For example, what if I said, 
just whatever. I made, I made it different, sum to 80. Can we do law of syllogism now anymore? No. Why not? Because don't they have to do that? Because A, B cannot equal the, they sum to A, but they cannot sum to 9. Right, right. Basically, this part of the rule has to be the same as this part of the rule for it to work. Okay? So that's law of syllogism. Moving on. I also uh, speed up the erasing, so it's going to look really cool. <laughs> So, um, should I do it like <coughs> slow and, and then it'll fast, or should I go like super fast and it'll be like super, 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 super fast? Super, 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 super. Like, so super. you to go back and edit this through? Yeah. Uh, so like yeah. You can't hear then you could do like a huge profane comment right now, but don't do it, I'm just kidding. <gasps> what? <laughs> do you actually look frustrated? You're like, <gasps> Okay, now I'm going to do it like fun, like this. Here we go. Next rule. Little, little harder to understand for some people, but it's not so bad. Okay. If the heat wave continues, then more AC is used. This is how it works. This next law starts off as the following. The heat wave continues. Okay. So if I said this was a true statement, if the heat wave continues, then more AC is used. And then I put it out there, the heat wave continues. What can you conclude? Yes, ma'am. The more um, AC used. More AC used, exactly. More AC used. All right, next one. What if I said... More AC used. Okay. What if I said this was a true statement and I proposed more AC is being used? What can you conclude? Yes? Um, that if the more AC is being used, then the heat wave is continued. It's being continued. Or the heat wave. Have you fun there? <laughs> not quite. Uh. That's surfer do speak for like not quite, right? What else? That, this one, this means like, right on! It's like, epic answer, dude! <laughs> you should put that on the video. What, this? <laughs> no, 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 like, have to... Why do I dance while I'm writing? Like, let, 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 that's how you should start. <laughs> you should start like that when you go across the team and do the wing thing. You can scare customers away. <laughs> My customers. Hello, customers. What can I do for you today? Okay. Well, one time you're going to have to be a belly dancer. Oh, my God. Chicka, 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 La 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 Not really, you have in the camera. Oh, yeah? Now you La 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 I love the bells, don't you? Pa 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 Anyway, no. If more AC is used, can we conclude that the heat wave continues? No. Yeah, you want to fix it? If more AC is used, then the heat wave could have stopped and there could just be... You could have just loved some cold weather in the middle of a snowstorm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Or, or there could be... Um, yeah. So can we make any valid conclusion based on more AC being used about the heat wave? No. 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 Right. No conclusion. Okay. And at this point, the way I like to think of this is that you think of it like an order. If I start here, heat wave continues, more AC used. Then, if I start here again, here, heat wave continues, then I'm allowed to say more AC used. But if I start at the end, see that? I'm starting at the end. 
I can't go back. I can't go back, not necessarily. I can't necessarily go back, all right? So let's do another example. If I live in Los Angeles, then I live in California, right? I live in Los Angeles. Conclusion? I live in California. Right. If someone lives in Los Angeles, then that person lives in California. Susie lives in Los Angeles. Conclusion? Susie lives, Susie lives in California. If someone lives in Los Angeles, they live in California. Susie lives in California. No conclusion? No conclusion. No conclusion about Los Angeles. Right. Because counter example would be? San Jose. False. San Jose. Yeah. San Jose would be the counter example. Right? Okay. Anyone want to try one? For fun? Make up our own. Make up our own. What are you doing? I'm waiting for you to think. <laughs> are you doing what? No. I'm like, oh, I'm coral. Are you sure coral dance like that? Yeah, yeah. Don't oh, you mean seaweed? Seaweed, thank you. Yeah, corals like this. Yeah. <laughs> Got one? Nobody all the hands. Okay. 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 Yeah, all the hands. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, if you are in 10th grade, then you are in high school. If you're in 10th grade, you're in high school. Bravo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Man here is in 10th grade. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make it realistic. So, Mr. Man is? In high school. In high school. Right. Miss Lady here is in high school. Conclusion? She's in Not necessarily in 10th grade, right? Like our friends in the back. Not necessarily in 10th grade. Yeah, you guys okay. are cool yet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny with that whole thing. It's like, I have something on the spirit day. You guys are like, Mr. Dude, you're not wearing red. I'm very upset at you, Mr. Dude. <laughs> it's like a, some, some personal assault. <laughs> You need to show your spirit! <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> this is what I had in my closet, homegirl. Wait, today's spirit day? No, on spirit days. Oh, so. It's like, you guys aren't cool. You're a ninth grader. You're an, and that was you like five months ago. No, I don't really care. I, just... I know you care. I know you care. I know. You're a cool ninth grader. So. Okay, that was it. That law is called law of detachment. <coughs> All right, and we're done. Law of detachment. Mr. Editor Man, how far are we gone? Um, we're at 13 minutes. Perfect. Okay, we're done. I think you should make this long. Yay. Yay, 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 applause, yeah. applause. Yeah. Surf away, right? You have, you have to put away. this, you have to put this part on. Dude, where is the, how far, were you here? Is it here? Um, no, I cannot see your hands. Here? I can, you're like not even, you're half on the screen. Yeah, you just scoot over. <laughs> there you go. Oh, right, I'm like in front of you here. Okay. There you go. Okay, here we go. Mr. Dude lost an arm to a shark. Shut <laughs> oh! up! <laughs> ah! Get off! Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, that's it for today's lesson. Thank you. Bye! Bye! Bye.